welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all things celery juice. So for the past 10 days I have been doing the celery juice cleanse which is a glass of celery juice. It's supposed to be two cups but I did a glass of celery juice on an empty stomach every single morning. And let's get into it to find out what happened. <laughs> day of the celery juice cleanse challenge that I am going to be doing. Now the reasons why I'm going to be doing this is number one, I just want to test the theory and from a nutritional perspective I'm going to debunk celery juice myth but some of the things that I will be observing is going to be sleep, my skin and my digestion. So my digestion is not actually, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not actually um, bad. I'm pretty regular. Um, I generally eat, my diet is pretty good usually. Well, it's pretty good all the time actually. The thing that I really wanted to test this out for is my skin. So at the moment, I'm 34 weeks pregnant and... Throughout my pregnancy, I've suffered with, I mean, this is by no means bad, but my skin is, well, it's a little bit red. Um, you can see it on this side a little bit worse. But yes, red and inflamed most of the time and irritated. So I'd love to see how that goes. And that's what I'll be documenting over the next 10 days. All right, so day one, here we go. Now I usually eat celery quite often. So um, yeah, the bitterness doesn't really bother me too much, but that is something that most people, well not most people, but some people can't really get past. But anyway, here goes. I did juice all of the leaves as well, so it actually is its pretty bitter. <laughs> yep. There's so much pulp in there. That last bit was actually awful. I nearly vomited. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So today is day three. We've just woken up. Brady is just having some breakfast. Say hi. You say hi? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Good. So far I haven't really noticed too much of a difference. Probably more bowel movements. Probably more frequently. I haven't noticed any cramps or anything like that. My skin is still not looking great. But at this stage, I haven't really noticed too much. But it is only day three, so I've only had it for two days. I actually, the other day, I had, I had the larger attachment on my juicer which allowed a lot of the pulp through. And as you could see, it was a bit hard to drink. I changed it over to the smaller attachment so that less pulp could fit through. So it was actually a lot better yesterday. But yes, so far, so good, I guess. But yeah, not really too much of a difference at this stage. Celery juice. Why is celery so good for us? I'm going to be now taking you through a few of the nutritional components of celery juice that may actually be responsible for the claims that the medical medium or Anthony Williams has been um, associating with drinking celery juice. Celery is an excellent source of vitamin C, fiber. It also contains really good levels of B vitamins such as B1, B2, B2. 
B6 and folate, which is B9. It also contains really good levels of calcium, potassium, and sodium. Sodium is not actually something to be concerned of. The high levels of potassium offset the high levels of sodium. So one stalk of celery actually contains 32 milligrams of sodium, while it also contains 104 milligrams of potassium. And it, this actually makes it a really good post exercise drink because it contains those electrolytes that are really good for replenishing your cells and fluid balance after exercise. So celery also contains the phytochemical coumarin, which has the ability to enhance white blood cell function, improve the vascular system while reducing blood pressure, which may actually be helpful in cases of migraines. Celery is also a nitrate containing vegetable and and nitrates are associated with the dilation of your blood vessels, which in turn reduces blood pressure. Celery contains a number of phytonutrients. Celery contains caffic acid, coumarin, ferulic acid, luteinolin, tannin, saponin, apigenin, and cameferol. So these phytochemicals have really powerful antioxidant properties and what ants antioxidants do is they remove free radicals so things that cause damage in our body they basically neutralize those chemicals in our body so with that being said the different compounds and diverse concentrations can have very varied healing effects so the research on celery antioxidants is referring to the whole plant so the leaves, the celery stalks, um, and the roots, and the seeds. So the antioxidant components of those different elements of celery are different. So the leaves are an extremely bitter part of the vegetable, and that's basically where most where you're going to find most of the nutrients. So definitely include them if you are trying to get the most out of your celery juice cleanse, if you are going to do a short one. Celery leaves are also an astringent, which is responsible for that really bitter flavor in the celery. And an astringent also causes smooth muscle to contract. So our digestive system, small intestine and colon, they are all smooth muscles. And therefore that can contribute to peristalsis, which is the basically the contraction of the muscles moving the food through your digestive system. So therefore it can contribute healthily to your digestion and increase bowel motion. So celery is also a natural diuretic. So that means it can help with fluid retention. So additionally, celery is 90 to 95% water. So extremely hydrating as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brady. That is brady. Do you want to have a taste? So today is day eight of the challenge. Things that I have noticed would be, number one, cleaning your juicer is a lot of work. Number two, my bowel motions have definitely increased and my skin is still, it's still a little bit inflamed, but around here is much better than it was. The evidence, so what evidence is actually out there. So when you do do a literature search in scientific journals, there is actually really limited evidence, if any, available by the way of randomized controlled trials, testing the efficacy of celery juice in the areas that the medical medium or Anthony Williams is actually proclaiming celery juice fixes. There is definitely a few things that I don't agree with that he has mentioned, such as celery juice restores your hydrochloric acid and kills pathogens such as Epstein-Barr virus, which is also known as glandular fever, and shingles, and that it also renews the nervous system. So I couldn't actually find any research that backs up these claims, 
But if you have seen any research out there on these particular topics showing evidence that celery juice does in fact fix these things, please put it in the comments section below because I am all about learning all of the time. So Anthony Williams claims that he knows before it is actually deemed evidence. So that's basically why he calls himself the medical medium. So he claims that he knows stuff before it can actually be proven, such as the so-called cluster salts found in celery. How do I feel about it? It really honestly does sound a little bit far-fetched for me. I have gone to uni and at uni, we are taught to critically evaluate evidence for evidence-based practice. He also claims that there is evidence and research backing up his claims, but there was no links to research or research mentioned throughout um, any of his workings. I do struggle to believe because the evidence is actually so scarce. I definitely do believe in intuitive healing though. And if celery juice is helping you in some way, shape or form, I would never recommend to stop doing it because it's obviously working for you. And sometimes evidence and experience don't marry up, which is okay. It just means it doesn't work for everybody but it may work for some people as well. So I definitely haven't seen extremely dramatic results that I thought I would, but in saying that, nutrition does take a lot of time to see results. So doing something for 10 days is, is probably not actually long enough. Another thing is that I'm actually also 36 weeks pregnant and I have suffered with hormonal acne throughout my pregnancy. And this is something that can be quite challenging and difficult to treat because when you are pregnant, your hormones are so elevated. There's not really a lot that I would try and do to balance my hormones because they are out of whack for a purpose. So yeah, that is also another driving factor that probably not gonna be fixed by celery juice itself, but I think the celery juice would definitely help with the inflammation. Another thing to mention is I'm definitely more of an advocate of eating whole foods rather than juicing them because when we do juice them, we remove all of the fiber. And as Australians, most of us do struggle to reach that RDI of 25 to 30 grams of fiber per day as it is. So I'm definitely more of an advocate on having the whole food because then you are getting the whole nutrient profile with the fiber as well. Thanks again so much for watching guys. Thanks again so much for watching guys. Yeah, that sounds, makes sense, doesn't it? Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys have any recommendations of videos that you would like me to do, please put it in the comment section below because I do love all of your suggestions. If you would like free recipes and nutrition facts, definitely follow me on Instagram. I hope that you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Woohoo!